nice one, cool dudes. Guess what? I'm not on the Isle of Wight. Incredibly, I've got a job. So I've done all my tests and been put in a secure environment. And I am now in Elstree on a small job. And on my day off, rather than being stuck at the hotel, I'm going to do the Elstree and Stanmore 8.5 mile circular. Here's a drama. There's a big storm coming in three hours. So I better get walking because I've worked it out and I need to walk three miles an hour. I don't even know what I'm standing around here for. Let's go. I did a little bit of this walk when I was exploring when I first arrived and I saw a deer, a woodpecker and a fox in the space of about half an hour. So I have got my spotter's handbook hoping to rack up a few points called cool dudes. Everywhere around here they seem to be building these luxury flats. I don't know if you can see in, I'm lifting you up. Anyway, cool dudes, at the hotel I've been put up in, I'm staying in a tiny room right at the top. And one of the most terrifying things happened to me. I got out of the shower and came to leave the bathroom only for the bathroom door handle to come off in my hand. And I realized I couldn't get out of the bathroom and my hotel room was miles away at the top and no one would hear my screams. I wondered how many people have starved to death in hotel bathrooms. Luckily, I was able to try and sort of half get the handle back on and manage to open the door after about 10 minutes. What is the scariest thing that's happened to you in a hotel that you've survived, obviously? Don't eat that, mate. Right. You expected me to stroke you, but I've just seen what you put your face in. Uh, no, no, no. All right, thanks. This path is one of the worst littered paths I've ever seen. Surely the council should put bins here. Mutual scratching friendship. Very good arrangement. When I left this morning in the hotel, I was walking right behind this Japanese lady and I sort of felt, oh no, I feel quite conscious that I'm like a weirdo and I'm walking right behind her. And now I just walked all the way across these fields and I've ended up right behind her again. I need a sort of tattoo on my head that says I'm not a murderer, but maybe that is will make things worse. I took a shortcut and now she's walking behind me. This is the worst. The, the path is to come out there somewhere, but I'm going to cut across this horrible gully onto some main road, horrific. Got pylons there in the distance. Mm, the countryside. Whiskers. Why would there be cat food litter by a motorway unless there are cats secretly driving cars at, at night? Also, a lot of those cars sounded like they may have had cats in them when they drove past because they went meow. <laughs> That is the worst joke I've ever told. It's not gonna notice, cool dudes, that the packed lunches I've taken with me on my recent walks have attracted quite a lot of criticism. Today I've brought a snack with me. This was given away free at the studios. Nudie Snacks Cauliflower Crisps. Cheese and caramelized onion. The taste test, cool dudes. Actually delicious. Very reminiscent of quavers. Slightly glassier taste. But if you could only eat three packets of crisps for the rest of your life, what would you choose? I think I'd have to pick the classic ready salted as just a staple. Then maybe I'm going to say frazzles and then those sun dried sweet chili ones. If I had to eat only three types of crisps for the rest of my life. Please write your choices below. 
A lot of this walk is part of the London Loop, not to be confused with the Capital Ring. The Capital Ring is the inner London walk, and the London Loop is a 150 mile route that goes around the outskirts of London, said to be the M25 for walkers, which is pretty damning. One of the odd phenomena of lockdown in the UK is that hundreds of different paths have sprung up. It's almost impossible to know which is the right path on the map. Bit of a climb up Cordes to a viewpoint, I think. There we go, some views of London Cordes. Wembley Stadium just down there. Oh, what's this here? Grimm's Dyke. It's a boundary for defence. Grimm is a Saxon word for the devil. Oh, right. Brilliant. There's one stone stopping the devil. I'm staying in a hotel with a haunted bathroom. They filmed some satanic worshipping filming. Great, I'm going to have a good sleep tonight. Ah. Ah. I was too busy talking and I've gone off peace and I've gone off the path. It's like American wealth in London. I think the person who did this route just did it on their computer and drew lines rather than following the pass itself. So it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now it's turned into some sort of Blair Witch Project thing. <laughs> I think this is the way out of the maze. Well, I had absolutely no idea what was going on for most of that bit. A solitary shoe. Oddly, it looks like something that would be worn by some Regency footman. And look, a fallen tree blocking a path. Terrific. I'm meant to get across this busy road down there. Ridiculous. That is the most mental crossing ever. And this looks like the um, fly tipping apocalypse. That is what an abandoned mattress looks like after 20 years. Finally, a sign. So depressing. Red Bull assholes. The amount of litter is just staggering. You just think how many assholes are there out there to account for all this litter? Oh look, here it is, I'm nearly home. I got it wrong, that's not the hotel, that is just a rich person's house. This is the right one. Nice one. I got back before the storm. Three hours and 30 minutes, eight miles or something. I can't work out how to get it on my watch. I'll put it around here somewhere so you can find out. A pretty average walk with some bits which were mildly life-threatening, like the busy road and an ill-plotted route. So I'm sure there are nicer walks around here where the paths are mapped out properly. Anyway, that's about it. Big thank you to everyone who joined the club, either by the YouTube subscription or by the website or both methods. That's even better. Thank you for watching. And um, most importantly, stay cool. That's it. Oh, prize draws coming up now. See you later. Nice one, cool dudes. I am back on the Isle of Wight. And first of all, a big thank you to Frankie at System Skynet for my t-shirt and also Jag Betty. You can follow their great YouTube channels here. 
it's time for the draw. How many members are there? There are 533 members on the website, plus 52 on YouTube. So a total of 585. Let's see he's won the Pooh Man cards, pen, and Spotter's Hamburger badges. 413. Nice one, cool dude, 413, aka Peter. That package is on its way to you. Also, more good news, if you want to use Outdoor Active, which is the route planning app I use on my phone, which is really good, you can get a discount if you type in cool dudes 10 f this code here you get so many uh, pounds off i don't know how much um so do that if you like that's about it thanks for watching see you soon stay cool